All right, so this is going to be the part three of link to XML, and uh, in this video we're going to look into how to read the XML file. All right, so I'm going to start with creating the method, as usual. Read, call this read the XML file. What a shocker. Okay. All right, and let's comment this add record method call and let's um, insert read XML file call in our main and again we'll, we'll start with loading the file let's copy and paste that once we load it let's create a variable of root let's call this x root and let's assign this to x doc dot root I think we don't need the parents here yep all right let's print that out see what we get Okay, save this. So, let's see, let's run this and see what we get. All right, so we got everything inside the root, including the root. All right, that's good. Now, let's try to get the child nodes these guys here so um, let's create another variable let's call this uh, child nodes or oh child nodes is fine equals this is going to be equal to x dot, dot root dot descendants all right let's see what we get here see it's given us a uh, collection of XML elements called descendants. All right, so that means we're getting all these nodes in here, but uh, since we can't just print out a collection like that, we may have to loop through it. And let's loop through and see what happens. So let's go with for each. Let's call this item child in child nodes. We want to print the item. Okay, let's try that. So we're getting all the child nodes plus the title nodes so it's first it's printing the child node here and then the child node of the child node so on and so forth so it's separating all child nodes and printing that out if I wanted just the child nodes three child nodes so one two three in that case I would have to specify in this parents here put double quotes and type in movie so this is similar to expat let's go back to expat here so just like uh, node list where is our node list let's go to our node list uh, node list right here similar to this one less the root we don't have the root root is already over here 
it's in it's it's kind of built in it's not kind of it's built in all right so this should give us three child nodes let's run this again we get one two three okay if i wanted to do a single node print one of these guys just one of them i would in that case i would have filter it either by the title or by id and we are going to go by id and let's pick this one let's go with id of two let's try print that out so actually before that let's do this console dot right right line uh, let's grab the child nodes at first or default so if i do this first or default it's going to get me the first child node let's print i mean let's try this out and you should comment this so we don't have too many things on the screen I should get the first child node and we got the star wars with the id of one so we got the first one but if i want to get this a um, second one i'm going to have to use a lambda expression here i'm going to say x where x attribute id dot value equals two okay that's the criteria um, must be doing something wrong here let's try this again x dot attribute okay so I corrected it so this should give me the second one because I filtered with the ID and let's run this so now we have avatar with ID of two that's how we select a single one um, let's say uh, I want to just print the all the IDs okay let's go back here let's uncomment this one we already we are we have the loop i could say item dot attribute id dot value that should give me all the ids of all child nodes and we got one two three Likewise, um, let's say I want to get, uh, I have another console that's right now, right just below here. Let's say I want to get uh, all the uh, title nodes, the value of title nodes. In that case, Uh, let's see. Item dot mm -mm -mm, descendants title. So since a child node can have multiple child node too, you have to assume. Uh, it's a collection that's why we're using descendant um, so in this case we're going to since we have one we can just say first or default that value and that should print all the titles Let's save and run 
so we got the IDs and we got the uh, titles. Perfect. You could also remove this one here just to print them side by side and add a little space here. Straight this way. All right, so we have all our IDs and all titles, and that's reading XML file using link to XML. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.